Hello and welcome to Math Molecules. This is part 1 of factorization where I would be covering how to factorize polynomials using highest common factor or HCF. Let's first recall how to find factors of numbers and how to find the highest common factor. Let's take the number 30 and 18. First, we will list out the factors. So, it is 2 into 3 into 5. I am writing them as product of prime factors into 3 into 3. And we see that this is 3. And we see that 2 is common as well as 3 is common. So, the HCF, the highest common factor would be 2 into 3 which is equal to 6. 6 is the HCF. The other way of finding this is in the division method. I divide with prime numbers 15 times 30, 2, 9 times is 18, then with 3, 5 and 3. Now I cannot divide further with the same number. So I stop the division here and 2 into 3 is the HCF. That's how I get the HCF by division method. Let's try one more example, 20 and 60. By seeing the number itself, we can find out the HCF is 20. Let's just try it out. 10 times 20, 30 times 60, then 2 into 5 is 10, 15 times is 30, again with 5. Now, I cannot further divide. I stop here. So, this is the HCF. So, the HCF I get is 2 into 2 into 5 which is equal to 20. So, that is how we find the HCF of numbers. Now, let us apply the same technique on finding HCF of monomials. So, first let us take an example here x cube and x square. I am going to find the common factor between x cube and x square. Now, the factors of x cube would be x into x into x and that of x square would be x into x. Now, if we see that these two x are common and one more x is common. So, the highest common factor we would get is x into x which is x square. In general, I can say that the lowest power would be common. If I have the same variables, the lowest power would be the common factor. Now, let us try out another example. x square y square and maybe x cube y. So, let me list out the common, sorry, the factors x into x into y into y. x cube I will have x into x into x into y. 2x, I mean x into x. Here also x into x. If you see here x square and x cube, like I said, the lowest common power you know the lowest power would be the common factor so x square is common here and between y square and y there is only one y which is common and then this one y is common thus we get hcf is equal to x square y let's try out another example where we have 3a cube b and then 12a square b square 9a power 4 b power 4. Now to find the HCF 
first we will find the HCF of these numbers coefficients 3 12 and 9 when we find the HCF of 3 12 and 9 we know that the HCF is 3 and now let's see the variables a cube a square and a power 4 I just said that when we have variables with different powers the lowest power would be the common one so we see that a square is common between all of them now when I consider b b square and b power 4 the lowest power is b therefore 3 a square b would be the HCF so we learn how to factorize and find the common factor in monomials finally we'll see how we can factorize a polynomial using the HCF let's take this example 8 x square minus 6 x square y now there are two monomials here 8 x square and 6 x square y we will find the HCF of these two so 2 into 2 into 2 into x into x here I will have 2 into 3 into x into x into y so the HCF is the common factor is a 2 is common then we do not have anything else which is common now we see the variables x is common so we take out that x another x is common we take that as well and we do not have a y term here so the HCF we get is 2x square now to factorize this expression what I would do is I will take out the highest common factor out what we just found out here and then let's see what we are left with in the first term 8x square if this 2x square is gone I am left with 4 2 into 2 4 and the minus sign here this is gone this is gone and this is gone 2x square is gone so I am left with 3y so it is 2x square into 4 minus 3y 2x square and 4 minus 3y are the factors now let us see another example I have 25 n square n cube minus 5 n and n so here I can write it as 5 into 5 and the variables m into m into n into n into n and in this case it will be 5 into m into n now let's take out the common factor the HCF here would be a 5 is common in both yes and then we have m is common there is only one m which is common and again there is only one n which is common so there is one m and one n which is common so I take this 5 m n which is the HCF I take it out let's see what are we left with in the first term we are left with 5 m n into n which is n square so 5 m n square the minus term and I'm sorry the minus sign and then minus 5 m n entire 5 m n is out here so that means I'm left with 1 please do not put it as 0 there it is 1 only then when I multiply it back 5 m n into 1 I would get the term 5 m n here so these two are the factors let's try one more example a b c plus a b 
y plus a b z so it's all one here the numerical coefficient what do we see here is a b is common in all these terms so if i take out a b i am left with c here the plus sign y here plus z here so a b into c plus y plus z these two would be the factors here let's try out one more problem 26 x cube minus 13 x square y square now here 13 into 2 is 26 and then x cube i have here it is 13 then i have x square and y square so the hcf would be 13 the common one 13 and like i said x cube and x square the the one with the smallest power which is x square would be common and here i don't have a y term so i cannot take y as the common factor so 13 x square would be the hcf so if i take out 13 x square in the first term i am left with 2 x square is gone so i'm left with 2x minus in the second term 13 x square 13 and x square are gone so i am left with y square so thus i have factorized this also 13 x square into 2 x minus y square so in this tutorial we learn how to factorize a polynomial using the highest common factor in the upcoming tutorials we would be discussing other methods of factorizing polynomials thank you so much for watching math molecules